my natural hair. It has gotten pretty long over the past year or so. I haven't had to trim in a very long time. I am way overdue, don't come for me, I know. And I've decided to kind of document this hair journey with y'all and film all my trends just to see how um, it grows now that I'm trying to keep up with an actual like trim routine every month or every two months, I'm not sure yet. So um, to get started, I'm just going to be using some heat protectant. This is the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Flat Iron Protection. The last thing you're going to need is some shears and um, some oil. So I'm just going to be untangling my twist with some vitamin E oil on my hands. And then I'm going to detangle that, spray it with the heat protectant, blow dry it, and then trim it. So let's get started with the video. First thing, I just wanna remind everybody that everybody's hair is different. There's literally so many characteristics of someone's hair. You know, from texture, to length, to porosity, to dryness and frizz, moisture, the weather, even the sunlight can have an effect on your hair. So everybody's hair journey is gonna be different and that is great. I'm done some research since filming and I found a lot of mixed reviews on how often you should actually trim your hair. So I've decided to do a trim every two months. I never really had like a real trim routine in my life. I used to just trim my hair before I put braids in or a sew in just to help it grow in like a protective style, which I really don't do often. And I went to a stylist once who cut layers in my hair and I absolutely hated the length and the shape. And I'm just tired of having uneven hair. So hopefully I can, you know, get healthier, longer hair by doing this. That is the goal. So I did blow dry my hair, but I honestly feel like I could have gone without it because the blow dryer didn't really do anything for me. Plus, I broke the comb attachment that came with it, and I definitely wasn't going to flat iron my hair. So I had to try and use like a detangling brush, and clearly that wasn't the best method, but it was good enough. Uh, my hair is already really frizzy and really doesn't keep heat well, so in my opinion, the blow dryer was just unnecessary for real. And I need to cut so much more off, but I really didn't want to go scissor happy and make this video like a big chop because I really do need to start getting used to trimming my hair on a schedule. And I was very happy with the final result.
and you can tell I don't cut my hair often because I really thought this was a lot as I was cutting it even though the before and after pictures make it seem like I cut a whole bunch of hair off but you have to remember shrinkage is something that I cannot escape even with that little bit of heat my hair was way more stretched out at the beginning of this video versus the end I also did a little shaping as well just for fun really. I wanted to do like a whole shaping video once I get a hold of these split ends. So I'm not trying to do too much now. And y'all, I am not a professional by any means. So really this series is all trial and error. Just trying to figure out how to better take care of my hair on my own because I really cannot tolerate other people doing my hair. <laughs> Mostly because I'm so tender headed and I'm scared. <laughs> but seriously guys, they call it a journey for a reason. Thank y'all for